Hello beautiful people, this is Aqua Goddess coming to give you all your general reading. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. Please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel to help our family grow. And also to receive your notifications for your future reads. Today's reading will be recorded for January 22nd, 2023. This reading will be for my Cancer Leo cusp. So if you were born on July 19th or between July 19th and July 25th, these messages may apply to you. Please keep in mind that this will be for past, present, future and it may or may not resonate. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, if you'd like to donate to the channel or purchase any manifestation jewelry or artwork, the information will be in the description box below. I've already prayed and meditated over your energy, so we're just going to go ahead and tap right in. Spirit angels, ancestors, guides, please protect me while channeling the messages for my Cancer Leo cusp. Please return all negative energy back to sender, 10 million fold, and anybody out there showing me love, much love and light to you. So Spirit, what are the messages that we have for my Cancer Leo cuss? Clear messages, Spirit. Definitely you could be dealing with the earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You just may be in a very calm point right now, very grounded energy. Could be spending a lot of time at home. Definitely could be into spirituality of some sort or very intuitive. I have double high priestess energy here. So you have a very mysterious thing about yourself. But you are very connected to spirit and to source. You may be a teacher or just someone with very ancient knowledge. There's a lot of people that love you. You're very nurturing, very protective. Some of you could be born July 20th. You could be having some type of chaos with this earth sign. Maybe confusion. A broken oath. Some type of broken bond. And I feel strongly that you had to read between the lines with this person. You may have never gotten a confession. Or the truth. Hmm. What else, spirit? They definitely don't want to let you go. This person loves you whether they have ever verbally and, you know, spoken this or not. They definitely love you very much there's just a sense of them being out of control especially when it comes to loyalty but they do know that you're very nurturing and you're loving even if they refuse to open up to you <clears throat> hmm you do have communication here. There's somebody that's very disappointed. They're sad. They're lonely. Hmm. They regret putting you through this chaos. Because now there's been a change of pace in how you move with this person. And the action, if any action at all. I feel strongly that a lot of you guys 
spoke to this person about you being disappointed, about you no longer wanting to be connected to this person. For some of you people, for some of you, this could be a Taurus or a Leo. Angel number 525. You're turning your back on this past energy here. And I see you focusing on a skill. Something that you're using to manifest what it is that you want in your life. Some of you all could be connecting with Gemini's. There could have been someone in the background. This could be a past person of yours or a past person of theirs that may have done some type of magic to break up this foundation that you guys were trying to build. Definitely you feel like there was a waste of time here. Um... This is someone that you wanted a family with at one point, or you wanted this Ten of Cups with, but you, hmm, you struggled with this relationship. You felt like this person made you overextend and they were very lazy. A misalignment with values. I feel like this person did not respect your boundaries. Yeah, because they have childhood issues. This person is definitely in a position where they had mother or father issues. I'm picking up the energy of someone that may have spent a lot of time with their grandmother. This was a fake person. They could have ghosted you at some point. There could have been some type of communication. Um... Fake news. Somebody in your friend group is not who they say they are. This is a friend. I don't trust this person. You could be having thoughts about this person and wondering if they really like you. Yeah, I would not trust this person at all. Somebody's definitely addicted to porn. And to be honest, it could be related to some type of sexual assault or something that they went through when they were a child. Um, this person has issues that they never talk to you about. And this is why they have issues keeping this bond or keeping this oath. You're not dealing with anyone that's shallow or that tries to put you in one side of connections, even if you really love this person. This is not something that you're going to negotiate. <laughs> at all angel number 903 I feel like you feel like this person is a coward and this is the reason why they disappointed you like they couldn't even own up to the things that they did you lost respect for this person you know, it's like you could have looked at them like they, you know, were on this pedestal before. And now it's like, I don't even fuck with you. Because they tried to play with your self-esteem. 
But I see that you guys are going to be, a lot of you guys are going to be going shopping, changing up something with your hair, or just doing something different. You have a skill that you're being re very resilient in, something you're manifesting here. You're being guided by your angels and your ancestors. Yes, there's a passion, something that you're very passionate about. It could have something to do with beauty for some of you guys. You could be into like cosmetology or like a barber or art, some type of way that you can express yourself. Dance, singing, rapping, spirituality with my girl Erica Badu. You could like to listen to Erica Badu, or SZA, <clears throat> or SZLA for some of you guys that like the reggae. Reggae is my choice, but you know I'm open. Love, you got love twice, so you could definitely be manifesting a new love here. Yeah, somebody thinks that you're marriage material. They hate nothing about you. This person loves how spiritual you are. You could be a singer for some of you guys. You have a beautiful voice. Even if you don't sing, you may be a speaker. Definitely um, saying that somebody loves you. Some of you guys like Beyonce. I got Beyonce here. Emotionally, physically drained, recharge. Hmm. You could be working a lot, you know. Um, I'm definitely seeing some sort of level up in your career or a financial increase. Maybe even a new career for some of you all. But you could definitely be pretty checked out right now. Maybe you need to get more sleep, balance your chakras out, whatever it is that you need to do. Some of you guys, well, most of you definitely need to take a spiritual bath. You could you could rock an Ankh necklace. So if you have an Ankh necklace or Ankh. I'm seeing a necklace, but you could wear Ankhs. Um, you could also have a tattoo of an Ankh. Mm. For some of you guys, you like big hair. So you might like big hair in a pretty kind of way, like big, full hair. Some of you all definitely are manifesting a new home. And with this new love situation here, this person is going to want to move in together. They're going to want to make things official with you. They really care about you. This is a businessman. Or you may be a businessman. This is somebody that's very slow to commit. So it may take some time to get to know this person. But this is because they have a lot to offer. And they just want to make sure that the person that they choose is the right person. You guys could be dealing with the Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Sag. Okay. Yeah, Spirit is saying you need to take a break, a vacation, or something. Some of you guys might be having issues with your job situation. Um, and it could be overwhelming you. But Spirit is saying no worries, you're going to level up. And you're also going to meet someone that's marriage material that has a lot to offer for you, to you. Someone that can balance you out. You guys are going to have a very good time. This is someone that you're going to make happy. And they're going to make you very happy. You're going to be able to be yourself with this person. You don't have to worry about this person um, having any secrets with you. They're going to want to be honest and upfront with you. This is someone that wants to 
build a connection where you guys can eventually move in together. So you have the third chakra, the solar plexus, personal power. I choose to be myself and to express my truth. I have a positive influence on the people and situations around me. I allow my integrity and confidence to shine, which instills more confidence and belief in myself and then encourages others to have natural confidence in me. I do not allow my personal power to become egotistical, manipulative, or exploitive. Wow, that's powerful. So you guys are the type of people that can move a room. You have a lot of power in the things that you speak, what you do, your integrity, the things that you teach others. Always choose to express your truth, no matter how it will come. You inspire a lot of people. There's a lot of people that love you. I can feel your energy through my reading. And you make my heart smile. Thank you for being such a great teacher, a great influencer. Thank you for changing so many lives in your life. Thank you for pushing forward and being strong. All right. Those are the messages that I have for you, my loves. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonates with you, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.